The world is made of elements, most of them metals. Every metal forms a specific and unique crystal or grain structure. The crystals a metal is made of can be manipulated to be soft or very hard. Here is the grain structure of a piece of iron. It is formed from ferric crystals, which are soft and ductile. And this is a piece of steel with a carbon percentage of 0.2%. Steel differs from iron as it contains perlite crystals. Perlite crystals are composed of veins of iron and iron carbide, which are very hard and strong. When a piece of steel is heated to critical heat, new crystals begin to form and replace the old ones. These are called austenite. When the steel is then air-cooled, the grains are again replaced by its previous crystal structure, but the grains are smaller. This in turn makes the steel more ductile and malleable. This process is called normalization. The next process I'll discuss is the quench. Should a piece of steel contain enough perlite grains, if it is heated to critical heat then submerged in a quenching medium, the steel will form new crystals called martensite. Small spikes begin to form in the grains as it cools. This makes the steel extremely brittle, which isn't desirable for any application. The final process is the temper. The steel is heated to 400 to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. If the martensite crystals are then examined as it is heated, carbon flakes form in the spikes. Now the steel is incredibly strong. I place three pieces of 0.6% carbon steel of the same dimension in a 20-ton press to see how they respond. One normalized, one normalized and quenched, and one normalized, quenched, and tempered. All for science! The normalized piece is up first, and it responds as you'd expect. It simply bends out of the way. If you've been following along, you'll know that the normalized and quenched piece is up next. And, well... And finally, this is the normalized, quenched, and tempered piece of steel. It displays incredible strength and barely budges. It's these properties of steel that make it essential for our daily life. Imagine riding in your car and the springs bend, but don't spring back. And new steels are being invented on the regular for industries like aerospace, construction, and so much more. All because of an understanding of the crystal structure of steel.